feel so stupid for letting someone take advantage of me in a moment of weakness. What's going on, guys? Shot Clips here once again, and today we see some crazy clips of the worst couples I can find. Now, like always, guys, my favorite clip will be at the end, but in this first one, it is pretty insane. I guess this guy ended up kicking out a girl because she was a gold digger. What do you do career wise? Nothing. So, you don't have a career? Mm mm. So, what's your goals for the future? Um, I want to be a housewife. How? A housewife. Mm -hmm. So you basically want to do nothing. You just want to live off somebody else's money. Basically, yeah. What? Are you are you serious? Yeah. Why don't you have any goals for yourself, though? That's not. That even, is my goal. That's not attractive at all, though. That's my goal. To be a housewife. So you don't have no goals for the future. You have no career, and you want to be a housewife. I don't even know why, why we still sitting here, because I'm not, it's not happening with me. It's not, why? What you mean, why? Why would I just let somebody be a housewife, especially a woman who's not even telling me nothing about herself? How is that okay? Mm -hmm. It ain't about to be me, so you can get the out of my car. Oh. Because you're a gold digger. Okay. Now, I have nothing wrong with the idea of a woman becoming a housewife. I don't feel like every single woman needs to have some kind of business or luxury job. But this woman just found out this guy had a bunch of money and realized, hey, I could pretty much take advantage of this dude. Let me just be a housewife and do absolutely nothing. And for that reason, I don't blame him for kicking her out. I told him to this boy one time. First time he blinked, he said, communication is key. He doesn't have time for it, all right? He told me from the jump, I cannot read your mind. If you're mad, say it, okay? One day he pissed me off, dropped me home, texted me all like, are you okay? Spot. He called me like three times. I'm looking at the phone. I'm not answering. And the next day, he called me two times in the morning. I didn't answer. Same speed. He texted me. So you came into my life to do where? Lol. I don't even play. I told you that. Stay blessed. I said. Okay. I've been blocked on everything ever since I tried calling from a text-free number. He said there's nothing for us. Yeah. What did this woman expect? A guy just to keep chasing her the entire time? Who does this woman think she is? This guy just realized he's worth way more than her and had some self-respect for himself. He knows he doesn't have to deal with this kind of garbage. So he went where he was respected and left. What's wrong with some women these days? How is this hard to understand? Now, yes, this may be some kind of sad sob story, but this is usually the outcome of a lot of women. If current modern day women continue to do what they're doing and don't lower their standards, there is going to be a lot more women like this. Husband, oh, he was a good provider. Provider. And you, che and you cheated on him. Okay. You and throw then, it in my face. Excuse me? <laughs> You're throwing it in my face. Um, no, see, a funny thing is when, listen to what she just said, throwing it in her face. Ma'am, it's just what it is. So y'all don't have it. I feel like you're throwing it in my face. If you are you being serious? I don't know you, lady. You're I'm the one that cheated, true. not me. I'm, we're having a, okay. And see, this is what I mean. Forty-three years old, financial diva. All right. Yeah. If you're this emotional and temperamental, good luck at no, it. This woman just does not want to take any accountability. She is saying, oh, you're just shoving it in my face. No, it's just understanding the consequences to your actions. If he's repeating exactly what you did and you don't like to hear it, then you're just guilty and you're afraid to admit it's your fault. I'm going to tell you about a friend that went out with a single mom of three the other night and how this backfired on him. So let's call him X. His name is X. X goes out with the single mom. He's very excited. What does he do? He brings her flowers against what I recommended him to do. He went against my suggestion. And he brings her this big bouquet of flowers. He's so excited. I said, okay, but... So he does that. They go out for a nice dinner. He asks her out. He takes her for a nice dinner. He was having an amazing time. Amazing time. It was going great, going just the way he thought it would. And everything's great, and the meals come on time, and she's looking at him and looking at him. And they're getting along, they're building connection. And then the check comes. He pays for the check, as he should, as he should, y'all. And as the check comes, she asks him, wait, do you mind if we get my kids food as well? They need some when I come back home. So he says, mm, okay. He agrees, <laughs> he agrees. 
And not only does she say, he's expecting, oh, maybe some chicken tenders, or something, something like that. But no, 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 no. This was a nice place. So he was already daddying for the evening. What does she do? She gets two big chicken linguine dishes to bring home for her three. Now, I don't want to say men should avoid dating single mothers. However, if you do have any thoughts of dating a single mother, understand she is looking for resources and not love. A single mother is looking for someone who can lift some of her burden away. So she's looking for a guy who's going to pay for her kids, her bills. However, sadly, this guy just didn't realize it. And she was just trying to get as much from him as possible. I'm just having a really hard day and trying to get ready. If you hear something or an update about your ex, send it just you. I could have married a lot of the people that I've dated. Okay, I turned 40 this year, and I've never been in love. I've never been in a relationship. Struggling financially, being alone, having no one there to talk to as you age, you know, no kids. And I always thought I would have kids. I thought I would be married by now. And now, I, the closer I get to it, and I'm scared. I don't, I don't know. I didn't think it would be an issue. I'm 32 years old. I'm 53. I would like to think that I'm still young. Right? The fact that you're 40 and single, still with no children. And now you find out that she's eight weeks pregnant. And you so want to feel happy for her. But inside, inside you feel so sad. How ha happier when they are single. I'm in a stage of life where I'm watching all my friends get married and have babies. Now guys, I'm going to be honest. I could have made this clip way longer and showed you a bunch of more women like this. However, I don't want to make the video an hour long. But like I said, there's a lot of women like this. However, if they continue to believe they can get married at any time, especially when they're 40 or 50, then they're going to be exactly like the rest of these women. I don't like when men know how to cook. <laughs> what? Because why do you know how to cook? That's a problem. What are you supposed to do? Eat TV dinners? Eat out at restaurants? Fast food all the time? You want him to be sick? Because all he doing is eating out all this crazy stuff. Or you want him to be broke. So, if you know how to cook, baby, keep cooking. In my opinion, this girl is just definitely jealous that she doesn't know how to cook and doesn't want a man who actually does. That way it makes her feel insecure and shows off something that she's definitely lacking. If you, if you are sexually active and you know that you have an STD, then you need to inform people of that. Because when you don't, and you infect that person, you are changing their life forever, and they are making a decision that they do not know. Like, this shit is going to change the rest of my life. And there's nothing I can do. And I'm embarrassed. And I'm humiliated and I feel so stupid. I feel so stupid for letting someone take advantage of me in a moment of weakness. But I did not consent to this. And I'm going to get justice for myself. I'm sorry, but what did you expect when you just hook up with a bunch of people? The best part about this video is the fact that this doesn't need to happen to anyone. Hookup culture in general is just absolutely stupid, and it gets you absolutely nothing. She is saying she was taken advantage of in a vulnerable moment. You put yourself in that position, and you're surprised with the horrible outcome, and now you want to act like you had no part in this? If you were just more careful with your choices and who you slept with, rather than just being so easy, this wouldn't have happened. Maybe you should get to know someone first. This is worth $12 million, but now in one move, she's going to lose half of her money. How this happened was Bella revealed she was secretly married to her boyfriend Tyler for the last three years. She caused many rumors online saying she got married secretly just to get American citizenship. That's because Bella was born in the Philippines and only moved to the United States when she was 13 years old, so citizenship was not question for some people. That complaint is completely false where she was given citizenship when her parents adopted her and even served in the U.S. military. Her marriage was instead something she just did by her own choice when she was 21, but now it's going to cost her big because she doesn't have a prenup. Bella does live in the state of California where the policy is a 50-50 divorce on all assets and income that came after they were married. She's not a 
policy that works for Bella because she got married in 2019 before she was famous, meaning she'll have to give up half her assets to the divorce. Which means her husband Tyler, who the public knows very little about, should be able to get $6 million to the divorce as well as something much more valuable. And that's that he could get half of her TikTok and social media if these are determined as business assets. And he'll also likely get alimony, which is something 400,000 Americans receive, but only 3% of them are men. The big lesson is get a prenup, and with that, I'm Charles Peralta. I hope you learned something. Now, finally, a W for the boys. However, this rarely does happen. Like this guy said, this only happens to 3% of alimony cases. And something this guy didn't really say was the fact of why they got divorced and just in general how to do with social media and how this guy didn't want his wife being in the spotlight the entire time. I mean, how would you guys feel if your girl was constantly getting DMs from a bunch of famous people and a bunch of guys that actually just wanted to hook up with her and date her? Of course, an unlimited amount of attention is not going to make any marriage healthy. But that does wrap it up for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want more content like this, please click the videos you guys see at the top of the screen. It does have my channel a lot, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.